both these devices. The 14 Plus has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. And the 10S Max has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are clear in the background. Let's get into it. 10S Max is here. 14 Plus is here. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Kind of the same thing. So I'm going to get into music, which I don't have here. App Store, 3, 2, 1. And definitely the 14 Plus was slightly faster, but it really wasn't too far off. Scrolling through here, let's see if there's a big difference. Doesn't really seem like there's a big of a difference here. Scrolling out of this one, let's go ahead into settings, 3, 2, 1. Very, very similar. Notes, 3, 2, 1. Messed that one up completely. We'll call another on the background. Writers, 3, 2, 1. Very, very close. I don't know which one was faster there. Mail, 3, 2, 1. 14 plus was faster. Clock, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing. Let's do photos, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Kind of the same thing, too. I'm not really too sure which one was faster. Camera, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Let's go and take a photo. It took a little way longer on the 10s Max, and even opening up the photo was faster on the 14 plus. Now, in terms of some of these other third party applications, let's get into it. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Okay. 14 plus was faster. Thank you, 3, 2, 1. And 14 plus was faster. Tennis Max a little bit behind. Let's go and get into Snake First Block. 3, 2, 1. Oh, messed that one up. But I will be curious to see if this one still loads up faster. And nope, I was wrong, but it still probably would have been faster on the 14 plus. Twitter, 3, 2, 1. 14 plus again is the faster one. Let's go and get into Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. Now, with these types of games, is you know, you're not really going to see big differences in the game play, I would say. But loading speeds are still probably going to be faster than the new one, as you guys can tell. I will say, it, though, overall, with the Tennis Max chipset, like, it's still a decent chipset. I've played tons of heavy games on the iPhone Tennis Max, including, like, Genshin Impact and Call of Duty Mobile. And this phone can still game for sure. I mean, you can see all these games I've played. I have had a really good time with this type of device, too. So it's not like it's that bad or that far off. Loading up Genshin Impact, though, we can go and try this one out, wherever this one is. And I guess I don't have it. But I will tell you overall, you're definitely getting a very fast phone on the iPhone XS Max still. But the 14 Plus is still a, you know, it's the faster phone. It's definitely going to be the fast phone in every single way. But I'm still happy with the XS Max performance. I will say, though, there's other areas where the 14 Plus is definitely a way better phone at, like in battery life. But in performance, you know, 14 Plus is definitely faster, but the XS Max isn't too far off. Now, in terms of the cameras, 